Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a um, quick uh, talk about updates because there's a few th questions that users have been actually asking me about Windows updates. Uh, so we of course talked about the fact that you can actually defer updates so if we go into you know settings, update and security. Of course you have the Windows update option and a lot of you have been asking me what exactly and how does it work with updates in a month and um, why um, you know optional updates and and updates that you just are uh, get pushed and that you have nothing to say about them so here's the uh, kind of the breakdown of how updates are sent so Microsoft of course updates Windows 10 regularly and there are two types um, two major types of updates and one that we would call uh, you know exceptional or uh, kind of out of the uh, regular calendar update so what are they uh, well Microsoft first of all will have its monthly patches security updates these are the second Tuesday of the month they're always on the second Tuesday so for example if you look at the calendar here in our calendar, we see that we are uh, right now, as I'm doing this video, um, September 5th, 2019. The second Tuesday for the month of September 2019 will be the 10th, and you see it here. So that is Patch Tuesday for the month of September, and it's always like that. So for example, let's go to October. October the 8th will be the second Tuesday, Patch Tuesday. November it will be the 12th, and so on. So the second Tuesday of every month is Patch Tuesday. It's a security update. These, except with the fact that you can go into, um, you know, the advanced options, and actually ask for these updates to be paused for a certain time, they will obey that rule. But they are forced updates, pretty much. Why? Because they are extremely important. Uh, typically, Patch Tuesday security updates mm, are actually here to s kind of make sure that Windows stays safe. They will fix a certain number of security holes within Windows and different products related to Windows. Now, some months are more intense than others. Some months have a lot of security updates. Some months have less. Some have more important updates. Others have less important updates. Overall, that's the update that you want to have on your PC. That's the Patch Tuesday update that you want to make sure is um, there. But if we remove that, then there's, of course, um, one exception to the rule that could happen. And it's an out of the calendar um, patch security updates. That can happen. It doesn't happen often, but if there's a major security flaw for Windows that has been discovered that is actually already exploited by bad guys, for example, Microsoft will tend to push an update to make sure that we actually get um, a fix. And that's what we call out-of-cycle updates. And those will also be uh, something that will be pushed to you. You can't control uh, if you want them or not. But then there's the last category of updates, which are bug fixes and feature improvements, if you want. These are roughly once a month, but they could be more than once a month. Uh, it, these you know, are updated regularly. Uh, the last one we had, for example, for um, the May 2019 update was on August 30th. These are bug fixes, all sorts of problems that have been noted or have been reported that are fixed. And uh, sometimes feature updates, so they tweak a little feature here and there to modify something or make sure that this or that update is a little better. That actually will appear in a separate section called the optional uh, downloads. So you'll have the check for updates for updates, but you'll have a section that's just below it that's going to say, oh, this is an optional, and you'll have a download and install button that you can click. And as long as you don't click that, you're not getting that update installed. So those types of updates do fix a lot of bug fi uh, bugs in Windows. And that means that if you have problems, you probably uh, should have that installed at some point. If you don't have problems, I always consider that the optional downloads and install of updates should not be done. 
Um, you know, security updates are important, but the ones that are optional should not be done if your computer works well. Why install patches when your computer has no problems? The um, question also that I get, a lot of people say, well, you know, I find it kind of annoying to have an optional, you know, download section. Uh, can I turn it off? You can't really turn it off. The difference between Windows 10 and Windows 7 is that Windows 7 for a long time had optional updates also, but they were hidden. So unless you clicked optional updates, you wouldn't see them. You wouldn't see that they are part of Windows. In Windows 10, you actually have them visible. Uh, you know, just ignore them. Um, some people I know are annoyed at it, but just ignore them. And if you don't have any problems, like I said, the optional update should typically not be installed, uh, really. So that's the uh, kind of the roundup of Windows updates through a month and uh, what are the differences between these updates. So the next security updates, the next updates probably pushed will be the Patch Tuesday updates coming this uh, next week, which will be um, the uh, you know second Tuesday of September. And that will be, of course, the security updates. If you enjoy our videos, um, hope you do. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.